Can you fully read three pages of a book? Just three? Can you even fully understand what a book is telling you? Most people can't. Due to social media and scrolling through things like YouTube shorts, TikToks, Instagram reels, all those destroy your attention span. But the best ways to fix that is to just read books normally. On a daily basis, you could read a couple pages. Whatever books you want to read, from comic books to real life based stories, almost all books teach you things, mostly life lessons. This video, we're going to go over three books from comics to self help books. Now, I have read all of these. The first manga, or not manga, but is a manga. The first book I want to go over is Berserk. You probably heard about it, but there's, and it's very popular, and you probably think of the main character Guts as someone who beats everyone up, wins, and comes out on top. But there is a very big lesson behind that. First, I want to go over the main plot, or like the storytelling and whatever. So, main character Guts meets this guy, Griffith, and he's in a mercenary group. Just a huge friend group that beats people up for money, or joins war. And at one point, Griffith... Uh, kills every everybody else except two people, Guts and Casca. They were saved from the major sacrificing event, and now Guts wants revenge. He continues to kill demons, monsters, trying to find where his friend Griffith is and get revenge. Well, not his friend anymore, but more of the major villain. But at one point, he realizes can't take revenge anymore because because Griffith is now too powerful. He still wants that revenge, but he wants to help those who he can. So he helps Casca because Casca was very mentally disturbed and eventually he gets help. But this shows that Berserk is a story about struggling and enduring. We see Guts go through many physical battles, but he go majority of that is mental. After getting some magical uh, equipment, he has to struggle with his mental self, his men like just what's inside of him, basically like his demons, and control himself so he doesn't end up killing all his friends. The main lesson here, yeah, it's just struggle, contend, and endure. Keep moving forward, no matter the cost. As long as you're alive, you can keep going. No matter what situation you are, the worst or the best situations possible, take advantage of what you have and move forward. Leave the past behind and just keep pushing. Next book I want to recommend is Little Book of Stoicism. It, it's really short, but it's a good read. It's about obviously the teaching of Stoicism. And, it, and its chapters range from 1 to 20 pages. That's why it's good for those who want to help develop their attention span because you can read a chapter a day and it just trains your attention span because you're either reading one page, which is short, blah, or you can read 15 pages, which may take a long time for those who have a less attention span. But the best thing I picked up from this book is you can't control others' actions. This... Just remembering that in moments when maybe you are getting barraged with insults or maybe someone said something on a really that you find rude, but maybe a joke. Um, it helps you control your emotions, basically. In any situation, the tip, you can't control others' actions. You can only control your own actions. It's really good. You can't control anything else in the world, just yourself. You may be able to push things in your direction, but you won't be able to control them fully. It teaches you to not expect or like just expect something to happen in your way. It teaches you that if it happens, it's good, but if it doesn't, just accept it and move on. A lot of these book Berserk and Little Book of Stoicism are really similar, not in what, not in like the storytelling, but like they're obviously two, very two different books, but they're good in what they, they're both very similar in what they teach. 
dessert teaches to move on and stoicism is also a move on. So if you read a little book of stoicism, it helps you train your discipline, whatever. If you just read like a chapter a day, uh, you're gonna get a better attention span. It's really good, just trust me, read that one too. Dot com secrets. This is for those with ambition who want to do whatever they want when they're older or who want to make money online and do it quick. Or not quick, but just make money online. Tons of money. Dot com secrets is a book about persuasion. Persuasion on the internet. Persuasion to make money. Persuasion to push those in your direction to buy your product. It's about making money online, basically, and how to get people to do it, to buy your product, whether it, it can range from art commissions to information that you may give out, like money, money lessons, whatever. It will show you each and every step of the way of how to persuade someone from the bottom to the top of the ladder. Now, Dot Com Secrets is a long book for those who um, just came out of social media or whatever, or for those who like spend most of their time on social media, this is a very long book. Just read 20 pages a day and take notes. If you're able to like put all the information of Dot Com Secrets into what you're able to understand, it may be like you're not able to understand this specific part, read, read it over and over and over again until you're able to understand it and put it in your notes. I have a notebook. I took notes on a bunch of different kinds of money-making books, and I have a ton of books about uh, making money. I have three books, and they're all really good. They're all really popular, but I took notes of them. And if you're able to cram information into something you're under, you're able to understand, then go ahead and do it. Dot com secrets is really good for those with ambition who want to make money. So read all three books. And now that we're done, are you actually going to apply this?